Flame City family, what is up? It is our favorite time of the week, hashtag Fridays with Flav, also known today as Burritos with Bobby. It's the first time I've ever made burritos. We've done that, we're doing it live on a Friday. We're gonna grill outside, we're gonna cook inside. It's actually gonna be low carb-ish because I'm making uh, cauliflower rice, cilantro lime cauliflower rice instead of regular rice. We're making so many sides too, condimento, salsa, crema, avocados. It's gonna be the ultimate healthy, low carb grilled chicken burrito. And I'm stoked to do it with you guys live on a Friday night here in Chicago. Um, so you know the drill. Let's all check in, leave comments down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. And don't forget the man holding the camera, wearing his game day opening day shirt, Arthur T. Alessi the third. Greetings and salutations. Yes. Bobby, I go to Jang Chuck Parham thought that yes. maybe we were late because we were putting on our pajamas. <laughs> you wish, Parham, you wish. I mean, Art normally wears a cub shirt anyway, but for you'll see for opening day he's wearing his uh his very nice 2016 world champion shirt tanya m said your instagram story was funny yesterday with art no not funny yeah i was uh, cracking me up there tyler, tyler 299 tyler. super chat that's Thank right you, tyler sir. our boy from atlanta was it san francisco I oh san francisco yeah that's right san francisco we got utah we got oregon in the house we got hollywood California. staying man staying man from texas gina uh, duck so What's good up? things are happening we got everyone here my boy breathing nerdum is here i assume it's a boy uh so here's what we're gonna do i have a bunch of boneless skinless organic chicken thighs we're gonna make a lovely spice rub let it marinate take it outside and grill it look at these art i got these beautiful air or as I call them, heirloom tomatoes today at Whole Foods. And heirloom tomato is made with a very old, ancient, almost, you know, like a seed. Very, very high quality, and they're on sale right now. I got a bunch of, these are just for art. I'm going to grill some habaneros uh, just for art to play with. We're going to grill... Uh, to play with? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to grill poblanos, make a poblano crema. We're going to grill onions, garlic, uh, tomatoes, and peppers we're gonna make a roasted tomato salsa we're gonna make guacamole we're gonna make that uh, dairy-free avocado or dairy-free poblano crema and we're gonna wrap them in the brand new ones from austin where stang man is right now they have the paleo uh huge burrito so what does that mean paleo means look at those ingredients that's fantastic instead of being made with wait where am i looking enriched wheat there we go there uh, we go. you got it Instead of being made with bleached, enriched wheat that's sprayed with my, uh, glyphosate and Roundup, it's made with paleo ingredients, best-in-class ingredients. And I've never made a burrito before in my life. I've seen them make it plenty of times at Chipotle, right, at Chipotle, but we're going to do it live. So let's get rocking and rolling. But my girl Jackie had him Spiegel with a $20 holler. Hello, Flav City family. Just joined. Happy cooking Friday. Mad love. Thank you so much, Jackie. And I'm speaking a little softer because Rose is doing her, of course, three o'clock nap. She'll be up probably in 15 minutes and then we'll go outside, we'll grill and chill. And if it's Fridays with Flav, you know it's always sponsored by Thrive Market. And yes, that is a new cleaner box because the old one got really dirty. Um, really big news from Thrive. Uh, my promo code is changing on uh, the end of the month, on the 31st. If you don't know about Thrive, they sponsored the channel for over three and a half, four years now. Everything you normally get at the grocery store, you get on Thrive Market cheaper. You typically save around $32 per order compared to the grocery store. Awesome stuff is on Thrive. Down below is my promo link. You get up to $20 off when you uh, become an annual member and uh, you can use those savings for anything you want. If you don't like Thrive Market, you cancel it. You get your membership fee back, but you keep the $20 shopping credit. I guess they've given away so many $20 shopping credits because you guys have tried it so much that they're switching to a free gift on August 1st. So act now. We'll talk more about that later on. We got a uh, $4.99 super $4 chat from Flo Joe. Flo Joe, I love that name. Welcome. I that Thank one. you for that. Um, and, my uh, boy Sean says, what sugar did I use for my hot cocoa recipe yesterday? That was the last recipe for the five ingredient semi-homemade uh, meals cookbook. Coconut sugar. I used coconut sugar, co cocoa, coconut milk powder, a little bit of cinnamon, and organic grass-fed milk. Oh my God, it was so darn good. And a pinch of salt. The best uh, hot cocoa that's paleo you can make. Catch up on a few comments here. We got uh, Brad Parham. Art, did you see my pre-comment that you look like Van Montgomery from the TV show yes. Reba? Saw that. I've never tuned into Reba. Oh, and I don't know who Van Brad Montgomery did. is. So that one went over my head here. Uh, we have, let's see, where is he? Where is he? 
D Brown. Is D in Dirk the is in the house. Go Brewers, of course. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put the game on at 6 o'clock. Moi, moi, Thule. Mene, oi, okay. All right, come over here. Let's make our spice rub. So I already have out cumin, smoked paprika, chili powder, ancho chili powder. I want to get a little more spice in there. All right, how do you like cayenne pepper? I like the sound of that. And then let's put a little bit of oregano in there. And let's throw a funky kind of thing. I wish I had like Mexican oregano. I don't have that. What's the difference? Uh, it's actually a completely different uh, leaf. It's not even... Different related. flavor profile? Yes, different flavor profile. Let's go... Is it more complex or is it just different? I'd say it's different. Let's go to coriander. Okay. Different in a good way, not in a bad way. So that'll be it for our spice rub. Remember Arby's used to have that commercial, same, 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 Arby's is different. I do remember yeah. that. Now it's what? Arby's. We have the we, meats. We have the meats. <laughs> I actually got so sick one time from Arby's when I was a kid. I had a beef and cheddar sandwich and I puked everywhere. I'm sure people want to know that. And because of that, I never had it again. And probably a good thing because it's not actually real beef there. It's like beef with probably soy protein and congealers. And that, and the sad like part of the story is it was probably something completely unrelated to Arby's and made you no, puke. And you, exactly. and you held it against Arby's, uh, American no, food chain since no. 1967. No, I'm making I don't up think the it's 1967. <laughs> They've been around a while. No, my brother used to take me there for the beef and cheddars and I just hurled one day. So this is going to be our lovely, little spicy, smoky, earthy, aromatic spice rub. And if you notice, I'm putting chili powder and ancho chili. It's two completely different kinds of chili. When you see a chili powder like this, Art, this is a blend of many different kinds of chili. But when you get ancho chili, that's one specific chili. It's this. It's the poblano chili that's been dried. See, this is chili with an I. <laughs> this really should be E at the end. That's true. Chile. That's a good point. Thank yeah. you, Art. And then I'm going to put some cumino in there, the second most popular spice in the world, which you guys all know. Coriander's a really great aroma. Get in there. Milwaukee Brewer, breathing nerdum, smell that. It almost smells like toasted orange peel. It's very, very lovely. And I always put less of that than I do uh, cumin. Oh, that's compromised. Our Put friend uh, Thule from Finland was saying donations are not possible from Finland, uns ah, unfortunately. All good. Thank you so much. And uh, Tyler, Tyler 499. Mom, hey, Bobby. I've been gaining so much weight throughout quarantine lately. I really need to lose as much as I can. Any advice? Dude, if you want to lose weight on the hurry, go keto. Work out in addition to that. You cannot help but lose weight, especially initially with keto because you're going low carb. You're going moderate fat, not high fat. You're cutting out inflammatory bloating foods and carbs. You can't have carbs with fat because that spikes your blood sugar. That makes you fat and slows down the digestion. That's how you do it, bro. Just do keto. If you need recipes, go uh, to flavcd.com or get our cookbook and you're good to go, amigo. Totally good to go. So this is our spice rub. We got a new, a new subscriber here named Muppets in Manilo. Oh, I like that name a lot. You have to throw that out there because we quote Barry Manilow all the time and we eventually bring up the Muppets. My girl too. Sarah says, I don't love smoky flavors that much. Is a poblano pepper smoky? Nope. A poblano pepper is actually like a spicy green pepper. And I'd say slightly spicy. It's actually nice to use in place of green pepper sometimes because it has more, it has more character, more funk. A, a green pepper doesn't have too much flavor. So I'm going to let this marinate. You could actually do this like hours and hours ahead of time. We'll just do it probably for 30 minutes, but um, it's going to be great because we'll get a hot grill. We'll sear that into the crust. Of course, I'm using organic boneless skinless chicken thighs, one of my favorite cuts because yeah, you could do this with chicken breast. Chicken breasts are just so darn lean, you guys. I don't know the infatuation with people with chicken breast. And I actually heard, staying man, anyone watching in Texas, I actually heard that in Texas, chicken thighs are more expensive because y'all are so smart down in Texas, you know that thighs are where it's at. It's all about supply and demand, economics 101. But up here in Chicago, and I think most cities, chicken breasts are more expensive because that's every, what everyone wants. But let me know, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe when your hands are clean, you can click the link that Go Jang sent. Uh, he said click on it, but I don't want to you know, screw up the last Oh, okay, sure, here. sure, sure. Uh, we got a super chat while you're doing that. Michael P. just sent a 499er. Mikey! Baseball on the TV, Flav City on the phone. Happy Friday, y'all. Let's hey. go Mets. Let's go Burrito. <laughs> Meet the Mets. Uh, Meet the Skip Mets. Smith, I've been to the Shedd Aquarium probably many times. Bobby, you ever been to the Shedd I've Aquarium? I've actually never been. Really? Yeah, I've never been to the Shedd. Oh, I should, I should Isn't that quiet, crazy? Sorry. Probably woke. Yeah, the Cubs game is starting up. at uh, 6 o'clock. I just subscribed to Hulu Live TV. I'm actually, I just canceled my YouTube Live 
TV because starting in August, they're raising the price from $55 a month to $70 a month, and they don't get the uh, Cubs network called Marquee, whereas Hulu gets all the channels I liked on YouTube TV plus Marquee, and it's $55 a month. Hey, I'm all about saving money and watching the Cubs, right? Jen H. just came in with a Canadian Super Chat, $5. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Jen. my dear. I appreciate that. Okay, so we'll just take this lovely marinade, let it sit here, do its thang. Actually, I want to flip that over and get some more oil on the other side. Much love from Area 51. Oh, oh nice. There's that. That, is that Don? Chopsky. Jill Chopsky from Michigan in the house. Jill will be here next weekend. I'll most likely see her and hopefully Maddie. I guess, so if you're just joining, we're in the very early process. It's opening day. We're, we're, in, the, we're in the middle of the first inning, right? Got a couple batters. There's a no-hitter going right now, but it's the first inning. Don't get too excited. Glastonbury. But in the get house. excited because Glastonbury's in the house. And we're doing um we're doing chicken burritos. So we're doing grilled chicken burritos with low carb cilantro and lime cauliflower rice and then a bunch of condimentos. Condimentos muy fresco con uh, muy saludable verduras. Eh, uh, What's the word for, uh, oh, it's verduras y what's fruits? Uh, what's, como se dice fruits? Fruits in Spanish? Someone will tell me. Good We're then. making a homemade guacamole. We're making a homemade roasted and grilled tomato salsa with uh, peppers and uh, garlic and uh, frutas. <laughs> frutas, thank you. And we're making a uh, crema, a roasted poblano crema. So I'm gonna take this poblano pepper right here. I'm gonna put it directly on my heat back here. I'm gonna start preheating this pan for the cauliflower rice. I can't Guten go outside Guten Ben ya, Adrian. I can't go outside yet because uh, Rose is sleeping in the back. Well, we got a super chat from uh, 1X Jerix1, 499. Jerry from the New Jersey Shore. Thank Jersey you Shore's for in all the you house. Do. Thank you, you. Love you all. Appreciate that, Jerry. Thank Vivian you for the love. Vivian is what rocking it up from New York. are you using? So this is what we're using, Vic. Check it out. These are the new Siete Paleo Burritos. Big and beautiful. Instead of using wheat, which is made of gluten, which is inflammatory and oftentimes made with, uh, sprayed with Roundup, these are made with cassava flour. Now I lost the ingredients. Ingredients to your left. To my left. Boop, there you go. Cassava flour, coconut flour, coconut sugar. This is what you want. And also keep in mind a traditional tortilla that's made with wheat. Not only is it enriched wheat that has all the good stuff stripped away, all conventional wheat, all conventional oats are sprayed with Roundup. Why do they do that? Because it's a desiccant, it's a drying agent. So at the end of the harvesting process or the growing process, they spray it so it dries muy rapido, very quickly, so they can harvest. That's bogus, man, because they're introducing Roundup and glyphosates to all the wheat-based products and all the oat-based products at the store. So unless you buy organic, you can't avoid those glyphosates. It's totally criminal. I hate that with a passion. Okay, let's put these spices back. And then we'll get going on the cilantro and lime cauliflower rice. Raise your hand if you're confident. Raise your hand if you're sure. If you can't have cilantro, meaning it tastes like soap to you. There should be about 20% of people raising their hands right now. And it's not your fault. It's because you actually have a genetic disposition to not liking uh, the cilantro and having it taste like soap. So if you don't like that, big deal. You just use like a... Uh, Breathing nerd is one of those, by the way. Uh, no worries. Don't worry about it. It's all good. But treat your cilantro just like you do my parsley hack. Keep it in the jug. Slice the bottom off. Put the plastic over the top. Um, so cilantro, lime, cauliflower, rice. Um, I have some frozen and thawed cauliflower rice. I just thought it'd be easy to use because I have it in the freezer. But we have to squeeze out a lot of that moisture before we get it into the pan. First, I like to saute just a little bit of onions and garlic before I uh, get the cauliflower rice in there. Do now, the, do the people who hate cilantro yes. also hate coriander? Uh, um, I don't know because coriander is a whole different flavor, I think. So coriander that I use in my spice rub is actually the seed of cilantro. Bobby, Bobby, stop what you're doing. Yes. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing, collaborate and listen. Randy Ippolito, $400. Super what chat. the fudge? Are you kidding? Randy, holy cow. Randy Ippolito, that's insane. We've never seen that before. Dude. 
Randy, dude, that is so Thank nice you. of you. You guys are super support. So, Randy, this is a, this is for you, Randy. Go you want to keep your fingers, your personal super lesson, chat, your super chatting fingers safe. So you perch your fingers, Randy, on top of the onion, and you go across, making planks. That way, your fingers don't get chopped. We need your precious fingers alive. Then we make our fingers back like this. I call that the claw. A claw. And why do I do that? Because now I really can't cut my fingers that easily, but if it was like this, that's not good. Randy wrote it was supposed to be $4, but I have it in the bank. Oh, Randy, are you joking? <laughs> hey, Randy, if you need that money back, just email me, bobby at flavecity.com. I'll get it back to you. <laughs> this is still for you, Randy. So now you go down, you make sticks like that, and then you get a nice fine chop. You think YouTube would like double and triple check that? Like, did you mean four hundred dollars? Yeah, Randy. If you... Nathan's trying to do an auction here. Says anyone got one thousand? <laughs> Randy, just, just email me, Bobby at Flavor City. Unfortunately, YouTube takes twenty percent, so eighty dollars of your super chat has gone to YouTube. But uh, it's all good. So we're gonna cook this in ghee. A little bit of Thrive Market ghee here. All right, check out what's going on with my poblano. Este poblano en el fuego y. Uh, El skin se toma muy, muy negro y está bien. Yo quiero este color todo, todo en el chili. Pero primero yo tomar este uh, grasa, este grasa de, uh, de uh, carne. Carne de pastor rey, solamente comer grasa. ¿Cómo se dice grasa, Arturo? No sé. ¿Cómo se dice grasa? Uh, grass, like real grass. Césped. Oh, that's right, césped. Césped. Ah, uh, Goto Jang said, for $100, Bobby will chop a shallot. He'll do what? Bobby will chop a shallot. <laughs> I actually have a shallot. Okay, right, so if you're just joining, we're about to make the low-carb cilantro cauliflower rice. I'm cooking it in what I consider one of the best grass-fed uh, geese on the market from Thrive Market. Now here's the deal. If you haven't checked out Thrive Market yet, they sponsor every Friday with Flav live stream. They have all your favorite healthy groceries that you normally get at the grocery store for cheaper. Here's what I want you to do if you want to try it out. Check it out. Go right below the video here. Click this link. That's my personal link. And when you sign up for an annual membership, you'll get a $20 shopping credit. This will expire on 731 because it's changing to a free gift. I'd rather have the $20 shopping credit. If you don't like Thrive Market, you cancel. You get your membership fee of $50 back which by the way, the savings are so good, you'll make that back anyway, but you'll get it back and you'll keep the $20 shopping credit. So try it out, it's risk-free. Get the ghee, get the grass-fed collagen peptides I put in my tea, and support the supporters of our channel. This is the only way a channel like this can survive is by so having really good supporters like this, they have the goods. Randy says, I want a cookbook, LOL. Deal, Randy, email me, bobby at flavecity.com. I'm gonna send you a signed copy of this cookbook right here. Art and I will sign it. And then when the new one comes out, I'll send you that one too. How about that? Deal. That'll be the most expensive signed cookbook we've ever done. <laughs> but yeah, bobby at flavecity.com. Please do it, Randy. Sometimes things go to my junk email, but I'll check it for sure. Brandon asked me this question, but do you want to answer it? Why don't you use your Redmond Real Salt anymore? Great question. Uh, the reason I don't use my Redmond Real Salt is because even though it's high quality salt, it's very chunky mineral based salt and it grits your teeth. I didn't mind it that much, but Desi was driving her crazy. So I'll season pasta water with it or certain food, and you'll actually be grinding on the minerals. Uh, so Desi didn't like it, so I switched. To be honest, though, I do like this better. This is Celtic sea salt. I do a whole spiel about them in the new book because it's one of my pantry staples. I say have Celtic sea salt, have Himalayan pink salt. Um, this kind of salt will change your cooking game because, number one, it has essential minerals that are normally bleached out of typical salt, but the flavor profile is really complex and it doesn't spike your blood pressure as much because it doesn't have all the minerals bleached. So it's better for you and better. Get the gourmet kosher salt. It's amazing stuff because kosher means the size of the salt crystal. Kosher is a certain size that makes it easy to pinch. It won't leak through your fingers like sand will or fine salt will. Uh, Tyler gave us a $4.99 super chat. Bobby, is there any Bobby approved wheat bread I can buy? Yes, the only Bobby approved ones are organic sprouted wheat breads. 
So Silver Hills makes a great one, and Ezekiel obviously makes a great one too. Courtney Esposo gave you a ten dollars super chat. Courtney Diaz Dolores, ah, muchas gracias, amiga. Beto, Beto. Okay, let's also chop a little bit of garlic. So the reason why I'm using frozen and thawed cauliflower rice tonight is because I had it in my freezer. I want to use it, and um, the key is also squeezing out a lot of that moisture. So when you get frozen cauliflower rice. Here's what happened. Art, go selfie style. Say hello, everyone, and explain to people what happens when you freeze something like cauliflower. Hello, rice. everyone. <laughs> uh, when you uh, freeze cauliflower or pretty much any vegetable, uh, Mr. Gorbachev tears down those cell walls <laughs> and uh, you release a lot of water in the process. Exactly. Um, so that's the answer to that question there. I yes. just saw some stuff coming in. I see in. some super chats there. Yeah, we got uh, Karuna Rose, $10 with the Superman pear. Thank you for that. Karuna, I love that, uh, Superman. Thank you so much. My, my girl, Brady and Nerdum, $5. Brady Nerdum, I'm a redhead I'm a red and a home cook. Should I start a YouTube cooking show? Yes. Totally do that. That's Play funny. up the fact that you're a ginger and like totally go about that. Say you're the dorky ginger. I would Something like that. Yeah, I think that'd be so smart. Go to Jang. Uh, you can find those breads frozen, but the Ezekiel, I've also, you, you can get it uh, non-frozen. Yes, you can uh, get it non-frozen. Joe and other places, but yeah. Um, for sure, and then, uh, let's see. Milwaukee Brewer, $5. I believe you once mentioned that allulose is cool. What are the benefits of using it? Any drawbacks or cautions? Uh, yeah, I'm do cool with that. I've actually never used it. The, Main benefit of that Milwaukee Brewer, and by the way, uh, yes, they do get camouflage, the Redmond Real Salt in the brownies. The main benefit is that it's, um, it's a liquid. So it's a liquid paleo keto sweetener. There really is no drawback, to be honest. So I, I would go with that for sure. I just generally, generally like my monk fruit sweetener. And uh, another super chat here. Delisha Renee, five dollars. First time catching a live stream. Wow, thank you. You guys do amazing work. Look forward to all of your content. D so glad Thanks you for finding us. Delisha. Thanks for that donation. Thank you so much. Nathan wanted me to tell you that they tried his Moroccan chicken recipe with cauliflower rice and loved it so much that they bought the cookbook. That's what I love to hear. It's probably not probably. It is my favorite recipe in the cookbook. So this. Happy Friday to you, Jackie. Yes. Let me check what's going on. Oh wow, this poblano is looking Hello, amazing. Char right? Troyer in the house. Char Welcome. from Michiana. So here's the cookbook, the original one. And the very first recipe in the chicken chapter called Winner Winner Chicken Dinner is this. It's my Moroccan chicken stew with golden cauliflower rice. I think this sets the tone for the savory recipes in the cookbook. Because when you think keto, you might think, oh, it's just a high fat diet with no flavor. This is the opposite. It's moderate fat, very low carb. Look at this. Moroccan spice crusted chicken thighs seared and basically braised in a broth that has lemons, chilies, and olives, and served with turmeric stained cauliflower rice with cashews, shredded coconut, and herbs. Amazing stuff. The new cookbook also will have pictures with everything, tons of shopping tips and macros with every recipe. I'm very, very excited to share that with you. So thank you guys. Um, if you want the cookbook, it's in my Amazon shop link right under the Thrive link in the description box. Check it out. And a bunch of you guys reviewed the cookbook the last few days. Thank you so much. If you haven't got a chance to review it yet, but you bought the cookbook, please leave a review on Amazon. Those are greatly appreciated. A little bit of keto rosé. It's Friday, y'all. All right. Oh, okay. So uh, go to Jang. Sent you the Van Montgomery pick to your email. Uh, uh, what did he send me? The Van Montgomery pick. Oh, okay. Uh, check out my Desi has a computer now, but I'll oh. I only have the uh... Uh, super chat here. Rachel McGinn, nine ninety nine. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel, that's a new name too. I don't recognize that. Thank you. Cheers to uh, Jill Chopsky. I made Nets. the paleo chocolate chip cookies, and they're amazing. Love to hear that. Nets are winning the World Series this year. I don't, I don't know, know about, about that. that. <laughs> How old is that wooden spoon you use all the time? To be honest, it's only probably two years old, and you can season it with uh, mineral oil because it's olive wood. Chris, okay, so we need a shout out for Chris. Chris, you watching it. Welcome, Chris. Chris, welcome. Friend of Skip man. Smith. Welcome, everyone. So I said, if you're using frozen cauliflower rice, come here, Art. You got to squeeze. You got to push it. Apparently push today it is National either. Tequila Day, according to Felicia. And she's asking why we're not doing margaritas. Are you serious? That's what Margarita told us. Wow. Sorry, Felicia. Felicia. I had no idea. Um, I think we're out of tequila, to be honest, which is criminal. So here's my frozen and thawed, and I just gotta squeeze out the leftover water. See, there's a lot in here. Guys, buy the five pound organic bag of frozen cauliflower rice at Costco. It is probably the best deal ever. I generally don't make cauliflower rice, like pilaf and fried rice with it, because it's a little mushy. 
But for making keto tots and cauliflower crust, we have a great five ingredient cauliflower crust recipe in the new cookbook. It's really good for that. We got a uh, super chat from Richard Marcotte watching in the north side of the DFW Metroplex, $4.99. My weekly check-in with the Flav City Home Office. Go Dodgers. We're always here, homie. Dodgers are strong. Dodgers are strong. Are they fierce? They might be fierce, to be honest. Uh, yeah. We got uh, Char Troyer with a 1999 super chat and an encouragement to enjoy the weekend. Thank you, Thank Char. Thank you, Char. Now, this batch already squeezed out the moisture because we had it left over from a cookbook testing for the, uh, for the uh, pizza. Now, when you actually squeeze the water out, it really reduces greatly because these vegetables are mostly water away. So that's going in now. I'm going to season it with a good pinch of salt and pepper and let it warm up. Does that cauliflower rice have a funk? No, because it's uh, fresh and frozen. It's not the bagged ones that are shelf stable. Those are disgusting. I got that shelf stable cauliflower rice from uh, Costco. It was rancid. Our amigo Joe Serrano. Joe! 114 Mexican pesos. Hi, Joe. How about Joe Jalapeno? Hi, Bobby. Keep being eerie, sending you five USD and a question. Spotted a vegan collagen. It says 94% silica something. What would the other 6% be? Other brands list maltodextra and this one cleanest. Uh, interesting. Well, it could be silicone dioxide, which is actually sand. Uh, the only vegan uh, Bobby approved one I know about is made by Sun Warrior. Uh, let me know what that one is, Joey, and thank you. So now that's in the pan, but it's bland. It's bland as can be. So a good pinch of unrefined Celtic sea salt goes in there. Mrs. BS, new cookbook on December 1st. December 1st. Pre-orders before that. You guys will be the first to know. We have to turn in the manuscript and everything on uh, August 15th. I spent a good time yesterday writing uh, the introduction and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm really, really excited. The introduction is something like, you know, I can't tell you how many times I'm in the grocery store and I see people staring at the wall of pastas or oils or sauces and not knowing what to get. And I say, this book is for you because not only will you learn everything you need to know to be an expert shopper and buy the best ingredients, you're going to learn easy five ingredient recipes that are healthy, delicious, that anyone can make. Who doesn't want to do that? And there's really no book on the market that teaches you both. Super stoked about Green it. Green Onions wants to know, is Poblano Crema spicy sour cream? Um, yes, that's exactly what it's going to be. But it's not too spicy because I'm going to blend that Poblano up with this. Check this out, you guys. Carolina Vanegas with a super chat, $10. Sending love from VA. Thank you, Carolina. Carolina, thank you. I'm going to blend it up with sour cream, but I'm using <laughs> vegan plant-based sour cream. This is cashew-based. Really, really tasty stuff. I'm going to blend it with this. I'm going to peel the poblano. I'm going to add a little bit of cilantro, salt and pepper, maybe a squeeze of lime juice, and that's it. No mas. All right, check out what's happening to our chicken. It's marinating very lovely. And uh, while I show that, I'll tell you that Susan Credor gave you a $4.99 super chat. Pulled pork tonight, opening day. Have you watched Nadia Hussein on Netflix? Yes, her, hack, her hacks are epic. I don't know her hacks too much. But yes, I've watched her. Uh, I love her show. She's so personable and her recipes are really good. I mean, her recipes aren't something I would eat necessarily because they're not gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo, or keto, but she's great. She has such a great personality. Correct me if I'm wrong, she was the winner of the Great British Bake Off. Then she baked a cake for the Queen of England. Super cool. Yeah, Sheila, I lived in Tyler and I never went to Athens, but I drove through Athens on the way to the airport sometimes. Now, if you're going to make cilantro lime, cauliflower rice, you better make it super Welcome. cilantro and super limey. So I'm going to grab a big handful of cilantro, maybe more. If you hate cilantro, this is a nightmare for you. I would just use parsley. This is what I do at art with all herbs. I grab them like this and I roll them really tight. Not too tight. Not too tight like the Magic Pan Crepery on Seinfeld. Wow. Super Chat City. Oh my gosh. An Antoinette Jones, $9.99. I finally made it today's live streaming. Just bought ingredients for my Paleo Chocolate Chip yes. Cookies. I can't wait to try them. I think this might be one of the popular, most popular recipes in the new cookbook. Um, I hope you guys uh, have the measurements from that last live stream we did. Very exciting. And I posted last night on my Instagram story the uh, final recipe for the... Uh, wild mushroom and kale ragu pasta uh, so go to my instagram story before it uh disappears in about like two hours and then i need lime i hear rose the roaster's up and then i'm gonna just zest let's get the green zester for this i'll just zest it 
directly in the cilantro. Some would say you're obsessed with zest. Some might say that. I would agree 100%. We'll use the zest and the juice. It's a great way to get the bang out of the entire Do you like wine. the juice? You know what? I like of the juice, Art. I really like of the juice. I like all juices, and I like of this juice a lot. So that'll be good. And then we'll juice this. For juicing a lime, we need to get the appropriate color-coded lime. Yeah, get out the uh, grapefruit juicer. <laughs> all right, let's take a little break here. Cheers. Fridays with Flav, Rosé all day. We got Thrive Market sponsor with the promo link in the description box. If you're just joining, please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We got chicken marinating. We're gonna make grilled chicken burritos with cilantro, lime, cauliflower rice, guacamole, roasted tomato salsa, and a roasted poblano crema dipping sauce. It's gonna be awesome. We got our paleo. Siete burrito wraps here, meaning grain-free, no flour, all good stuff. We got our uh, chicken marinating in uh, a really nice uh, marinade right there. Look at those heirloom, those beautiful heirloom tomatoes there. Those are great. Yeah, all right. A roaster is up. I'm under orders to make her a snack. I got this. I got a beautiful white nectarine, organic white nectarine. Should I peel it for her? Peel it for Rose, I'm going to give her that and some plant-based yogurt. Viviana has a question. Would organic vanilla flavor be Bobby approved? It's an ingredient in my collagen powder. Yeah, it is not, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of those collagen powders, except for layered superfood, which is a plant-based uh, creamer, have them. The only time something like an organic flavor would be approved is when it's in like a really cool keto or sugar-free product that has no sugar. Instead, it has monk fruit and has a little bit of natural flavor, but so many of those keto creamers have natural flavor. I'm going to combine a couple questions. Yes, please. Separate do. people, but uh, you'll see why. What are your thoughts on Ezekiel burger buns? And then somebody said, uh, any Bobby approved hot dog buns? Yes, so great, great combination, Art. Yes, Ezekiel and I think Silver Hill. They both make sprouted. Anytime you can find a sprouted uh, bun, that's going to be preferable because it's made with organic sprouted grains that are easy to digest and has the most nutrition for your body. And uh, it's not easy to find per se. Whole Foods has them. I don't know if Thrive Market has them, but uh, yeah, you really want sprouted. It's very hard to uh, peel this with a peeler. What do you think about the Simple Mills almond flour pancake and mix? The mix? Is that what you said? Yeah, almond flour pancake and mix. Yeah, I just... I just talked about it in today's uh, sugar-free video coming out on Sunday. It's really good stuff. It's made with coconut sugar. Is there a pitter-patter over here? Hello, Rose Honey. Come here, you. Come here, you little Mrs. McGoober. Hey. Mwah. How was your nap, my love? Wow, here she is. Hey, hope we didn't wake you up. Hi, everyone. Can we say hi? Hi. Yeah, uh, even the almond flour crunchy cookies are good quality from uh, Simple Mills. Just avoid any of those uh, pre-made cookies that have uh, palm shortening in there. Just make sure it's coconut oil. Uh, whoever just asked about the carbs in the burritos, 30 net carbs. Yeah, they're not low carb, but they're paleo. Microplaner be sharpened? I don't think so. That would take a lot of work. Yep. Yeah, each each individual time ones. or whatever it's called. Kelly Weinstein, Kelly. 99 Fridays with Flav is one of my favorite shows to watch. Excited about burritos. Thank you, Cal. Really appreciate that. Thanks for the burritos. So look what's happening here. Because I wrung out all the moisture, the cauliflower is cooking and it's not getting soggy. Check this out. Sometimes you make cauliflower rice, especially from frozen, and there's a pool of water. Ain't none of that in here at all. So what I'm going to do is check it for seasoning, primarily just for salt, and then dump in all that cilantro, lime juice, and lime zest. Richard, Microplane is a brand name. Uh, it's a Microplane There's my zester. Bou There's my bouquet. Yeah, it's a zester. Microplaner invented Microplane zester. Uh, Alice White, mm. $10. Thank you, Bobby, Art, and Desi for all your hard work in making videos and for allowing Rose to make us smile. You guys are the best. Alaska. Oh, thank you for that. Very sweet. Cheers. Very, very sweet of you. All right. Rose, you need some nectarines and you need some yogurt, right? So, all right, switch with me. Is the Dave's bread still Bobby approved? It's not because there's too much sugar in there. I really went back to look at it. There's five grams of added sugar per slice. It's astronomical. Everything else is good in there. It's organic. It's not sprouted, but it's organic and whole grain. 
but that amount of sugar is wrong. Gochu Jang uh, asks if that's a haircut that he sees on Bobby's head. Yes, I got a haircut on uh, on Wednesday. Much needed. Clean up the old do. Sarah Windmuller still considers 30 grams of carbs to be low carb. Um, for a burrito, it might. Absolutely. I don't know of any keto burrito wraps. I know of keto um, taco tortillas. Actually, a great one is from this company called from Almond with Love. I have a hard time finding them now. They were in production before COVID. Um, another one would be, the only store-bought one that is really Bobby approved is a La Tortilla Factory Low Carb, because they don't use junky oils. Hold on a second, sweetie. Hold, whoa, 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 don't throw on the floor, it's good stuff. Yeah, somebody said, pull up her sleeves, daddy. Here you go, sister. Okay, so we got this. Look, Rose. Mmm, it's like sugar. That's like, oh man, those white, Nectarines, you guys, are so tasty. Uh, hey, bro. <laughs> bro, uh, hold on. What's that? Best Parmesan cheese brand, please. I mean... There's not really a whole lot uh, of brands that I've seen. I mean... Yeah, you really just It's all coming from Italy if you're getting the... Yeah, you just want to get Parma. Parmigiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. From Parma, Italy. All right, now I get the 36-month aged one from uh, Costco. The Kirkland brand, it's fantastic. Uh, Jackie had him Spiegel twenty four ninety nine, making homemade cauliflower pizza with Rao's pizza sauce. Love Rao's and love Flav City fam. That sounds great, Jackie. And thank you so much, Rose. How about a little bit of uh? Hey, Andy. Yogurt. She can't reach the blade. Here's the blade. Here's Rose. Hi, right, Rose. Let's try this. You want to try a little bit of yogurt? This is her favorite, the uh, plant based lava yogurt. She goes gaga over. Let's open up the palette with some of this, Rosa, here. Huh? If this doesn't work, I'll have to hand you off to Kara. How about some yogurt? Yeah, now we're talking, girl. So good. These guys are coming out with a keto yogurt pretty soon. Right now it's paleo. It's the peely nut yogurt. It's really, really tasty. We've got a thousand people watching right now. A thousand people watching. If you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, let us know what you're making for dinner. We're hanging out on Fridays with Flav, a.k.a. Burritos with Bobby. We're making grilled chicken uh, burritos. We're making salsa. We're making cilantro lime cauliflower rice. We're making avocado guacamole. We're making crema with roasted poblanos. Really good stuff. Uh, oh, we have a super chat from Mars V, $5. Mars! Art and Bobby, favorite movie about cooking or food? Mine is Burnt, starring Bradley Cooper. I saw that one. It was pretty good. Uh, come on, these white nectarines. I don't know if I've mm -hmm. seen any movies that I would say are food movies. Amazing. Mm. Like, what have you seen that's a food movie? Because um, well, obviously I don't see a lot of movies, so now yeah. it's getting even more difficult. But, Ratatouille? Yeah. I didn't see it. Uh, what else? Non-cartoon movies, maybe. This looks really good, you guys. Wow. I didn't see the Julia Child movie, Go Chu Chang. I yeah. should have. I heard it's good. I'm trying to think Cooking what with Julia or something like that. You, ever see, you know what's a really good show on Netflix with a John Favreau? It's called Chef. That's a great show. Uh, yeah, a great Del choice. Delisha just mentioned that. Yeah, it's such a great show. I really enjoy that. And it's so real. Like, they don't rehearse it or produce it. They just do their thing. So, guys, look what's going on here. The salon show, the lime, it's all cooking together. We're getting a little bit of color. And live in color on that uh, rice, but I want it to be on the acidic side. So my guess is I'll need more lime juice, and I actually want more cilantro in there. What do you think of the Parmesan cheese from Aldi? Is it any good? You know what? I've tried it. It's okay. I don't think it's uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, though, is it? I don't think it was. I think it was American. Yeah. Domestic is not the same. Well, that's actually really good. Jill Chopsky, $10. What do you know about Beru nuts from Whole Foods? Uh, oh, Rose, there's still some in there. Barrow nuts? Barrow, B-A-R-U. You know, I don't know that one, Jill. Oh, that rice is really delicious. I'm going to give it a little more cilantro. Then I'm going to go outside and preheat the grill. So we got to grill the tomatoes, the peppers, red onions, jalapenos, a little bit of uh, garlic. And we're going to make the, uh, I don't want to put cilantro on your spoon <laughs> We're going to make the salsa, we're going to make the uh, crema, all that good stuff. There you go, sweetheart. Isn't that good? 
It's I the sprouted bread from Aldi any good? Uh, yeah. It's not the best one, but it's it's the best bread they have at Aldi. Super Chat, Maureen Killian, nine ninety nine. First time I've made it to a live stream. Thanks for all the Welcome, education. Maureen. Maureen, thank you. I've learned so much from you guys. Everything is much appreciated. Keep it up. Thank, thank you, Maureen. Maureen. So, guys, to make sure you never miss a live stream, what should they do, Art? Well, you want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel, but then there's a little bell icon right below yes. or right to the side of the video, and you want to click that and enable all notifications so you'll never miss a live stream. Back to yes. you, Bobby. You never miss a live stream, but you'll never miss a video too. Daddy made a mess there, or else he's trying to be fancy. Because you'll get a push, but once you enable the bell, also make sure on your device, whether it's on iPhone or Android, you have YouTube pushes enabled. Very, very important. Uh, so reading some of the comments here, maybe they're called Baruka nuts. Not like Baruka salt, <laughs> uh, Baruka. Here, let's try this. I want you to try that sweet. I don't know, I guess you're not familiar with those either, huh? Whether God, it's Baru or Baruka. Never heard of that, heard of these beautiful, uh, I was at Whole Foods today also. I filmed a video today about uh, the best uh, healthy sweeteners and uh, the products that have them at the store. So um, coconut sugar and monk fruit, and showing the best products at the store that have that. Granola, cereals, nut butters, ice cream. Uh, Brad says that they taste like an almond and a peanut had a baby. Really? How have I never heard of this? Uh, Ashley, there was not a live stream yesterday. No, so you, didn't, you didn't miss anything. Yeah, we were working very hard on the book. People yesterday. are like, I didn't get a notification. Yeah, we were working quite hard on the cookbook yesterday. Okay, I'm going to go outside, Rose Honey. And uh, now she likes the nectarine, see? And I'll preheat the grill. I'll be right back. Arch, talk amongst yourself. Rose, talk amongst yourself. Daddy will be right back. All right. Welcome, everybody. This is the part of the show where I try to fill time. So, anyways, excited for tonight's Cubs game. Figured I'd rock a shirt I haven't really worn on this channel much this year, at least. Oh, yeah. So... For those of you who might be confused by Gochu Jang Parham's comment about a drinking game, anytime Bobby goes inside, some participants choose to drink something, and Bobby has to go inside quite often. Yeah, Maui girl, Rose is quite often talking to me. Right, Rose? You going to say something else? No? Okay. Not right now. But you heard her talk. Guten Abend, Ben. <laughs> May reason people watch the stream. I don't think so, but thank you. Go Cubs. Can't wait, Kathy B. I agree. Please do more Bulgarian-inspired recipes. I'll make sure I do that. Now we'll pass that on to Bobby. Oh, so Jill, you guys are going to be here next Saturday? Okay, that's good to know. It would be cool if that can work out. Art, right, give us the real scoop on the... Hang on, what does that say? The real scoop on the keto wine. Is it good? Actually, Miranda, yes, it is good. I'm not a huge rosé fan, so it's nothing against this variety, but rosé is not my thing. 2016 was a long time ago. I know it was. But it still happened, and I was thrilled. Do you like energy drinks? Uh, don't do the energy drinks. What's on my shirt? I'm trying to hold my arm out as far as I can. 2016 champs. Cubs. Uh, let's see here. Art, you speak Finnish? Uh, yeah, I, I can understand far more than I actually speak, uh, but I do know some. Uh, I would say it's very broken Finnish. Hard to converse, but the more I'm there and the more I try to speak it, the more it comes back to me and stuff like that. It's a difficult language to learn, I'll say that much. Okie dokie. Hey, sweetum. It smells good in here from that uh, poblana. While you were gone, Rose actually asked for cheese balls. For cheese balls? Yeah. Wow. I, I understood something that she said. Unfortunately, we're fresh out, Rose. I'm so ah, sorry. Super chat. Amber L. with a unicorn. $1.49. We thank you, Amber. Uh, Amber, L. thank you. Oh, we got someone watching from Bulgaria. Petya ah. Daneva. Love the channel. Watching from London. but I'm Oh, watching from London, but from Bulgaria. Ah, Stravete Daneva. Kaksi. Uh, Dana, I was born here. My mom's from Finland, and I've been to Finland many, 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 many times. Okay, let's take stock real quick of what's going on. Our cilantro, lime, cauliflower rice is done. That'll be our filling, Keto our low-carb keto filling for the burritos. Okay? Our chicken is marinating in our lovely 
smoked paprika, cumin, <laughs> coriander, spice rub over here. Nice one. Good things are happening there. The salt brought some moisture to the surface and it melted the spices. It goes back into the crust. We're going to take these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. We're going to grill a bunch of them. We're going to also grill jalapenos and some red onions and blend that up for our salsa. We're going to grill some organic peppers for like filling or fajita toppings for our, uh, uh, our burritos. And we're going to make crema. We're going to make cilantro, lime, dairy-free crema by blending cashew-based sour cream with this poblano pepper that's steaming the skin off right now and cilantro. And we're going to make some guacamole. So now and that I talk it out, we got a bunch to do. Andrew, probably Pavo me, but there you go, uh, I'll leave that no more for debate. That's good. Pavo Nurmi. Look, Russ. Mmm. Tastes delight. Wow. Guys, get these organic nectarines. The uh, white nectarines are like sugar. Yes, I have to, uh, mm. Rebecca Turco is the oldest city in Finland. Okay. Let's start preparing stuff to take out to the grill. Let me uh, answer this question about the rosé. Yes. What company is that rosé from? Well, it is from the Seco Wine Club. Yes. If you go to my live stream from Tuesday, I have a promo code for that. I always have a promo code for them. I just didn't put it on this uh, live stream. And a live uh, super chat from Rachel L. $5, a foodish movie you and Desi would love on Netflix, The 100-Foot Journey. Oh, I have seen that. Yes, that is very good. That's a great one. We're still watching The Last Tango on Halifax. That's such a good movie. Deborah Davis, $1.49. Debbie. Thank you, Deborah. Debbie, thank okay. you. Okay. Yari maybe. Like I said, it's up for debate. Okay. Let's start preparing everything to take to the grill. So I'm going to grill a bunch of peppers. I'm going to grill uh, red onions. Vicky Murph. My dad died in April at age 89. He's missing his favorite team, the Cincinnati Reds opening tonight. Oh, Ooh. sorry, Vicky. Well. The Redbirds. Who are the Redbirds playing tonight? I don't know. They've had a tough time uh, lately. Hey, sweetie. Sorry to hear that. Uh, what else are we going to do? We'll take these outside. I want to grill the jalapenos. Let's really quickly blend up that crema that I want to use as my topping. Did you all hear, by the way, that Chipotle is going to get low-carb cauliflower rice? I think it's way overdue, but I'm excited. I think it's like an extra buck, 50 or two bucks. I'd, I'd get that all day because now I can get a keto burrito bowl. Uh, instead of getting that paleo salad bowl that has the greens, I can get a nice base of low-carb cauliflower rice, which I'm stoked about. So Bobby, do you want good news or bad news first? Uh, give me the good news. This is coming from our uh, DFW correspondent, Richard Marcotte. Which one? Good or bad? Good. Uh, Bill and Ted 3 will be on uh, video on demand on September 1st. Okay. Bad news is Top Gun is delayed until July 2021. Wow. Interesting. Uh, Art, can you help with this query? Probably not, but I'll ask Bobby. Is all grass-fed milk, wait, does all grass-fed milk only have the A2 protein? Um, it, uh, no, there is no grass-fed A2 that I know about, unfortunately. It's even hard to find organic A2. Oh, you want, you think that's the, uh, yogurt. Here, I got you, girlfriend. I got you. I even heard, like, uh. That Top Gun movie was coming under criticism because they were like changing his jacket and like doing things that weren't uh, offensive to China or whatever. It's like, come on. What's his name in the movie? Uh, Maverick. Ma come on, Maverick. Lieutenant Pete Mitchell. Well, actually, he's probably more than lieutenant now because uh, I'm not going to ruin anything. I don't know anything about the movie. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not going to speculate. Maggie B in the house. Maggie in the house. Ah, let's see. Uh, no, so the best milk in general is 100% grass-fed whole milk. A2, you'd have to get organic at the least. They don't have that. So I would get uh, whole milk either from Maple Hill or from Organic Valley. A lot of people like to get low fat and reduced fat or no fat milk. It's a big mistake because in the fat, there's the omega-3 fatty acids and the conjugated linoic acids. You don't want to miss out on that. Chandra says yes. grilling the avocado adds a nice flavor. Um, you know what? I feel like it doesn't do anything, but let's do it. I, I got the grill fired up. Check this out. Come over. This is garbage cam art. Check this out. So I have my beautiful poblano pepper here. I really, really charred it over the uh, burner directly. Then I put it into a Ziploc bag to get all of the skin off. The skin separates from the fruit, from the flesh. Yeah. I hear you, mama. This is abuela style. There's so much sabor, so much flavor in here now. It's crazy. 
So I'll take this. It's okay if a little bit. Viviana has the pithiest question you will be asked uh, the, whole, the whole day. Okay, Viviana, what's up? Between Art and Bobby, who would be Bill and who would be Ted? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, which one is Keanu Reeves? He's Ted. He's Ted? I don't even know how to that question. Is. I'll leave it up to Which Art. one's dumber? <laughs> what does that mean? Who's the dumber one? Well, I, I'm going to say shotgun. That's me. Whoever's <laughs> who's the least dumb. That's funny. So this is going to be a really cool dairy-free sauce. We have the cashew-based sour cream, cilantro, salt, pepper, and the poblano roasted pepper in there. We buzz it up. This is something I wish they had at like Chipotle, Moe's. Welcome to Moe's. That sounds horrible. I should save those uh, tips there. What is, your, save it? what is your favorite thing to eat? Me? Yeah. Favorite thing to eat? You know what? It's so, I'm so like in the now. Whatever I'm making now is literally my favorite thing. I can't say like pizza's my favorite thing. I, I can't even answer that. I know everyone always asks me, Art, what's your favorite? I don't know. I don't know I don't know what my favorite thing is. Art, this is my favorite thing. Check it out. Look at the color. This is Damon Wayans in living color right here. Beautiful. You won't even know. You won't even care that's dairy free. The question is, we got to check for seasoning. We actually were just calling him Ted, but really it's Ted Theodore Logan. And Ooh, Bill that, S. Preston Ooh, Esquire. Ooh, delayed spice? That's delicious. It does need some acid. I wasn't sure. We'll throw some acid. Ooh, lovely. Imagine drizzling that all over our grilled chicken burrito. I think that's going to happen. Right. Yeah, imagine it's going to happen in 25, 30 minutes. So a little bit of lime juice, a little more Celtic sea salt. We'll blend it up. Ooh, the flavor of the cooling of the sour cream, the fresh cilantro, and that roasty, toasty poblano. Ooh-wee. Carice said, uh, ordered a keto bowl from Chipotle today for my birthday treat, and they had cauliflower rice. Was excited to see that. They had it already? Wowzers. Rose, let's say hi to everyone. We have 1,300 people watching. Hi, everyone. Hi, can we say hi? Yeah, Richard uh, hi, expanded on what you said. The movie studio hi. changed the original patch on the jacket that was considered pro-Taiwan to make something more benign yeah, exactly, to make China. Right? Rose, let's say hi to everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. Huh? Ah. Um, 1,250 uh, people watching right now. I mean, it still hey, Manuel, the knife is not anywhere near Rose. It's an optical illusion, just like I uh, saw somebody say. She can't reach that knife. She, oh, no, it's really She's far like far away from the counter. Don't worry. Okay, so that's but thank done. you for considering that. Let's I wash these avocados. Milwaukee Brewer, $10. Uh, Do you know why we're supposed to wash milk containers before loading them into the fridge? My parents always did it, and the instructions from my fridge tell me to do it. Your fridge told you to do it? Wait, milk I'm containers shocked. like the plastic ones from the grocery store? I don't know. We're talking about the old school like glass ones that the guy used to drop off. I don't know. Those were the good old days when the milkman would drop off milk every morning. Well, and just because your simpler. parents used to do it doesn't always make it the right thing, like hey, washing chicken. That's right. What does uh, the Fonz Henry Wrinkler say in, uh, in Waterboy to, Billy, to uh, Bobby Boucher? Well, Mama doesn't know. Won't hurt her. Uh-huh. I was going to say, what did Fonz say? I was going to say, hey. <laughs> it's hard to call him Henry Winkler. It's, he's, he's the Fonz. I thought I was Fonz. Well, you're Fonz too, Art. Yeah. So we'll take the avocados out. We'll grill them. No, we'll, take, we'll, we'll do two. Why not? Take them um, more I'm going to take all these out there too. Well, I'm going to grill it. You want fresh habaneros, Art. This is just for Art. Just for me? Just for you. I'm not going to eat it. I might try it. Yeah, put a little grill. It. Let's do one grill. And one one grill. One, you want the albino one to be grilled or what? There's a weird give it, one. Give it some char marks. All right, we'll give the albino one some char marks. And then I just want to put it's some, a palette. some garlic for grill marks for some, uh, for the salsa. So I actually normally just buy that beautiful Frontera salsa, but um, I want to make a roasted tomato, an heirloom tomato organic salsa with grilled onions, garlic, and uh, onions, onions, garlic, jalapenos, and then we'll throw some cilantro and lime juice. I think it's going to be really bomb.com. And let's see, what else? The chicken will come out there. We still have to make the guacamole, and we have to make the chicken, and we have to make the salsa easy peasy. I'm half squeezy. Lemon, lemon squeezy. All right, guys, before we go outside, make sure you check in, leave comments down below. We have to give it up for Fridays with Flav sponsor, Thrive Market. Probably every 10 or 14 days, a box comes to my house. This week I got um, 
arrowroot starch, maple sugar, granulated maple sugar, because Jesse wants to make some paleo eclairs. I got a bunch of grass-fed organic ghee from Thrive Market. Amazing stuff you normally get at the grocery store, but cheaper. So here's what I want you to do if you haven't checked out Thrive Market. Go right below the video here. I have a few things going on. This is my Thrive Market link. Try it out because you get a $20 shopping credit. Yeah, Rose, 20 bucks for free. If you don't like Thrive Market, you cancel. You get your membership back, but you get the 20 bucks. Also down here, so it's risk-free, is uh, all my kitchen gear. And then if you want to sign up for my pre-sale list for my immune system boosting tea powder coming out this fall, sign up here. You'll be the first people to all uh, um Are there new comments? Because I think I'm not seeing anything new on my end. Oh, yeah, they're just, coming through big. That's, that's frightening. Time. Yeah, it's frightening. I don't know. Well, no, I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know. I go scared. selfie style and go back. I'm scared, Art. Um, okay, frightened. let's go outside. Let me take a trip outside. Well, I apologize. I can't see any new comments. That's a bummer. Ugh. Especially when we go outside. That's a bummer, dude. You look on the iPad. Hey, you look on that. So I'm gonna take a couple trips outside and then Art and I will matriculate out there. Take this, I'll take this. Apologies, apologies. Take my maters. Oh my gosh. I gotta get cut up on all these? <laughs> yeah, Art. Read them all. Nikes. Uh. Hey, Rose. Wow, folks, this is the first time that the camera itself has frozen up with the comments. That's pretty goofy, huh? Yeah. It's normally the other way around. Huh? Yeah, that's why I'm funny the way Captain it is. Captain Pete Mitchell should be a two star admiral by now. Who? <laughs> Mitchell. From uh, Top Gun. Oh, oh, that's right. I saw that in the preview, too. Okay. Wow. Well, I apologize, folks. Um, Strain and brew, Art. Yeah, Strain and brew. Take this out there. Take the tomatoes out there. Wow, I missed a super chat from Charlotte Gilliard, $5. Oh, thanks, Charlotte. Thank you so much. We're going to bring that outside, and we won't miss it. Don't worry. Hey, Rose. What's going on here? I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. Hopefully I didn't miss any other Super Chats. Are you reorganizing here, Rose? Let me close that for a second, sweetheart. Okay. I'm going to take one more trip, then we'll go out together, Arthur T. Take that, that, that. I'm, how many times do I have to come back inside? Over, under is seven. What do you guys think? Keep in mind, we're just grilling a few things and we're coming back in. I've solved the problem. Unsolved mysteries. Do you really? Solve, yes. Nice. I now oh, see sure. the chat, so apologies. Close. Hi, Rose. Five oh, trips inside so far. And here's DJ yeah. Dislav. She didn't eat too much of the nectarine. No. No, she was more about the. Uh, they're making bets as to how many times you're going to have to go inside and how many times they're going to have to drink. I saw somebody say 11. Let, no, it won't be 11 because we're not doing the whole meal outside. If we were doing the whole meal... But you've I already gone a few times already. True, I guess that counts. That does count. Hey, sweetheart. All right, all right, let's go outside. I'll take... Yes, old baby, that is Desi. That is... Well, you must be new to the show here. That is Bob's wife, Rosa's it. mother. I was supposed to mix it? Mix it. Oh, dear. Everyone knows Desi, known as... Oh, DJ dear. Deeslav. I'll give you some more rose hold on. All right, all right, let's do it. Try this one. Oh, the mm -hmm. satellite isn't now plugged in yet. Better. What's that? Let me plug in the satellite. I've it's in your bedroom plugged in. Now. Okay, it works. One, one second. Right? This is better, right? Daddy didn't know how to serve it. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll give you some hold on. Give hey, some. Rose. Uh, Rose. I'm a penguin, and I turn my head. I'm a gorilla, and I thump my chest. Yes, what does the gorilla do? Show. Um, yeah, thump my chest. I am, um... I'm a monkey, and I wave my arms. Yeah. What's another one? I'm a buffalo, and I raise my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We know some new tricks here, you guys. 
also do tricks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put that back on. So you can finish eating. Yeah, that's your snack. And then are you going to have a bur burrito with us? Yeah, Richard, no Publix here in Chicago. It's a yeah. southern chain. A burrito. Ashley says, I'm a donkey and I kick my leg. Is that in the book yes, too? Yes, that is. That is. <laughs> I just can't see your leg. What else, Rose? I'm a giraffe and I bend my neck. <laughs> like, I don't feel like I'm doing it. Right. <laughs> like, now it's time to eat. How'd you fix the comments issue, Art? Uh, I changed the comments to do all com or live comments instead of top comments. Uh, I was assumed it showed us everything, but I guess it was on like, I don't know, some algorithm mode. Try this test. How's the seasoning on that? Whatever YouTube wants me to see so rather than comments, what I want to see. Mm -hmm. Nice, man. I want it all and I want it now. You want more or something? More salt? More salt now. Nah. We're going to put a ton of seasoning on the oh. other stuff. Bobby, do you like Moroccan cuisine? Yeah, did you see the show, uh, the recipe I showed earlier? The uh, Moroccan uh, chicken stew from the cookbook? That was great. So we're gonna go outside, we're gonna grill the chicken, grill all the vegetables. I'm trying to think, I have avocado oil spray, salt. I'll bring some mm -hmm. napkins outside. I'm trying to minimize the trips, but. Are we gonna eat outside? Oh, we can if you want. Whatever you want. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna assemble the burritos in here. It's just easier for me. So, Thank you, yeah, yeah, give me a bite of that. This thing is so good. I got a four hundred dollar super chat. Yeah, I heard that. But it was kind of a. It's a mistake. It's kind of a mistake. Uh oh. It was a fat finger. He's getting a uh -oh. signed cookbook though. <laughs> yeah, Randy's getting a signed cookbook. Maybe a couple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Art needs to check out the Wang Chung video. Everybody, stay safe tonight. <laughs> It's not too hot here. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, not too bad. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. That's right. I was supposed to mix the uh, nectarine with the uh, yogurt. I, I blew it. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see. That's why she didn't want mm -hmm. it. Okay. I think the satellite should be up. All right, let's hey, do it. I'm currently outside vitamin shop. What were those Garden of Life vitamins you recommend for men trying uh, to get my dad on some better ones? Yeah, those are great. Garden of Life men's multivitamin. Those are the great. If he's over 40, I think they have over 42. I get the Garden of Life men's multivitamin. But the one from the video, they make another one that's not quite as clean. Uh, you'd have to look at the, uh, the video really quick. All right, let's go outside, Art. They're about like 35 bucks for a bottle, I think. Hang on, I get my sandals. Get your horseshoes. All right, guys, keep, leave, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where in the world you're watching from, all that good stuff. We're taking the party outside here. The grill's nice and hot. It says 460 degrees. That sounds pretty good, Art, huh? Oh, yeah. I love the black socks and the sandals. That's classy art. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on. Grill, nice and hot. I believe it's clean, but just to make sure, always give it a nice scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I have four burners going that I might need to do all of them. So let's get Barry Bummer. What's that? Watch it. Barry Bummer's watching from his bunker in North Korea. <laughs> Is that where Kim Jong is hiding too? Okay, so we'll put all the peppers on. I'm gonna grill the avocado because one of you guys told me earlier, I just feel like it doesn't really do much. Maybe if I had like a, a, a charcoal grill and got some real good smoke on there, that'd be nice. I wanna put a little seasoning on the, uh, on everything actually, but especially the onions here. Let's season these guys too. It's my favorite part about cooking outside, just being really messy. Cashew siete tortillas versus almond siete tortillas versus today's cassava siete tortillas, which is best? Battle of the tortillas. So Battle Royale. It's a cheese. It's actually a very interesting question because the answer back in the day would be cashew flour tortilla. But something happened. 
something's wrong with the tortilla today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the cassava flour. <laughs> We're living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> um, something happened. They changed. So they're wildly inconsistent. I would say right now the almond flour is better. And I do talk about those tortillas in my cookbook because I recommend them for a couple recipes. And I say, go with either or. Um, but there have been some, there are some known issues with the cashew one. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Okay, so those are down. Now look what happened to our lovely chicken. I mean, it's been marinating for about 45 minutes. Spices have got in there. Oop, nice he's going to have to go in and wash his hand after yeah, this. Yeah, that's one. I got these things called tongs. Yeah, I know, but my hands were dirty already. I'm just a caveman. I don't know about your spring-loaded tongs. I build fires and I cook with my bare hands. He once was a caveman, but now he's a lawyer. <laughs> One frozen caveman lawyer. Okay. Kelly Weinstein, $1.99 just for singing. Thank you, Kelly. Oh my God, it's hilarious, Kelly. Okay, Is that's the skin on the chicken. Thing. So, yeah. It's the skin on the chicken. No, 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 no. It's boneless, skinless. If I do leave the skin on, I'll cook it in uh, usually the pan. But that's a great tip. Buy bone-on skin on organic chicken thighs. Ask the butcher at the counter to debone them for you so they cook quicker, but you get that crispy skin. And then ask them to save the bones for you so you can make stock and bone broth with them. It's one of my favorite things to do. Ask the butchers, ask the fishmongers to fillet, to debone. Ask the produce people, hey, I don't need this big head of cabbage. Can you cut it in half? They will do it. I'll leave you on that note. I'm going to wash my hands. Talking points while I'm gone. Baseball opening day. Who's going to be in the World Series? Discuss. You heard that question. Do opine. Let us know. Drink time for those uh, playing that game at home. Uh, I see water dripping from up there, and it's a beautiful day. It's not raining. That must mean that the automatic... Uh, flower watering things are going, aka sprinklers, whatever. Dodgers versus Yankees. Well, I'm sure the media folks would love that, love the 90s SNL references. The 90s SNL is where I live. KC Royals. Uh, Randy, okay, uh, Bobby at FlavCity.com. Bobby at FlavCity.com. Go Astros, dang man. So, Stangman, uh, are folks in Austin typically rooting for the Astros? I don't know. I mean, you're not that far from Dallas, or from uh, Arlington, I should say. But uh, I don't know how long the drive is to Houston. Then again, you don't have to root for the closest team, so. Yes, okay. No Rangers. Treasure Island, Florida. I have not been down there, Tessie. Go Astros. Yeah. Go Braves, even if I can't Funny. say that with a straight face. Are you, yeah, Viviana, my hair is getting way, 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 way too long. I got it cut, I think, two days before the governor's home stay-at-home order went into effect. So uh, if you go back and YouTube to that Aldi video where people were saying, hey, you guys are filming this in a pandemic. That was before, like, the governor's orders, and that was, like, the day after I got my hair cut. So... But then again, that came out probably a week later. So anyways, I'm babbling too much. Tessie Monhone 499 we thank you for that super chat. Very kind. Austin is three hours from Houston. Hate the corona. You need a flowy. Oh, man. That reminds me on uh, Wayne's World where they bust out the uh, the suck cut. Done. As you can see, it sucks as it cuts. It certainly does suck. Sorry, I love that movie. All right, you should check that barbecue. Do you smell anything? Actually, it smells really good. Cubbies, of course, unfiltered uh, fatherhood. You know it. Cubbies for life. Oh, did I miss a super chat? Hang on. No, I got it. That's Tessie. Let's see. Go Bulls, Bears, Blackhawks, and Cubs. 
Yeah, it is really strange that um, hockey is going to start up, I think, like next weekend. Let your hair grow to your shoulders. It would take a long time. Uh, I, I might have to get a haircut soon. Any bed risers under that table? No. No bed risers over there. Art, sing a song. I, I can't just randomly start singing a song. I need to have some inspiration, whether it's a song that uh, somehow I bring into the conversation because of something that was said. Ever thought about doing stand-up? I'm, I'm good at recycling other people's stand-up. I can't come up with my own jokes. Do you cook? Yeah, I do. Uh, Blanca. Uh, Charlotte, I believe Bobby says you want to buy uh, wild shrimp rather than farm-raised. U.S. U.S. All wild right, shrimp. All right, all right. I don't know if you guys Something can hear me, but head. I was pickling the uh, red onions are. I, the I couldn't hear, but I know they could. Here's some inspiration. Go Brewers. Oh, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Ain't going to happen. Now, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, nothing too exciting yet. you got to be careful with grilling the uh, garlic. I don't want to burn it, but I'm trying to get that raw edge out of the garlic a little bit. You standing close to the edge? Yeah. Not the the, the edge of glory? I'm on the edge of chicken glory right Jill now. Jill Chopsky, five dollars. Local foods in Chicago are all the meats organic and grass fed, or do they sell meats that are not that are not clean? Uh, great call. Um, not everything is grass fed, but it's all clean. So even the grain fed there is uh, at least like pasture raised grains fed. But yeah, they have pasture raised pork, pasture raised chicken, and grass fed beef. Really, really good stuff. They do have one thing there that is not 100% grass fed, but it's bone marrow burgers. They put a piece of bone marrow in the middle so it melts when you cook it. Um, it's still very high quality, unbelievable. When you guys come in town, you should get a few things from there. Um, and then uh, bring it back. Why is she crying? Oh yeah, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, for those talking about the hair, thanks for the compliments. It's just the, uh, the sides that are getting out of control. I wanna leave the top kind of long, but the back and the sides are getting crazy. Yeah, you haven't got a haircut yet, right? No, not since two days before the uh, executive order. That's right. Art, has uh, anyone told you you look like Matthew McConaughey? Didn't somebody whoa. say that like a week or two ago on a live stream? I don't think I've seen that one That's yet. That's maybe the second time only, maybe the first. Yeah, wow. Fan down by the rear. <laughs> I haven't heard that one in a while. No, we, we don't no, have a pool. Not married, no kids. This is all we got right here. The next house, add it to the list. The next house will have a pool. I hope someone's keeping track. So the next house is going to have, obviously, my dream kitchen. Somebody is keeping track. Good. They Add a pool to that. The next house will have a pool. It'll have uh, at least a semi-outdoor kitchen with a gas grill, a wood pellet grill, and a smoker. Maybe a fire pit or a spit rotisserie in the middle. Uh, a kitchen three times the size of ours with ideally two ovens and two dishwashers. Just keep track. It's, it's going to happen. I'm telling you. Well, you, let's see. Oh, okay, let's see. Yeah, amen to having a pool, right? We get more Art uh, Willem Defoe's than that Matthew is McConaughey's. Number one doppelganger for exactly. me. Exactly, Jill. You can make the bone marrow burger and then put a little bit of peanut butter on top, like they do in Michigan. That'd be really good too. So let's see what's going on. So tomorrow, I have a video shopping at Costco with my dad. My dad and I that went there yesterday. We did a shop along. Really, really cool stuff with my dad, who's a character. He's 89 years old, in case you didn't know. That's coming out tomorrow. On Sunday, I filmed the video today all about finding the healthiest quality sugar substitutes at the grocery store and the products that have them. So eliminating sugar, cane sugar from your diet, replacing it with paleo sweetener like coconut sugar and keto sweetener like monk fruit and stevia and finding the products at the grocery store that do that because now more than ever there's amazing products that have these alternative sweeteners that's what's going on next week i have no idea what we're going to do um we're rocking and rolling on the cookbook we're almost done with the manuscript we have to be done by august 15th uh five ingredients semi homemade meals using the best quality ingredients from the grocery store to make healthy easy meals along with all my shopping tips and advice in the book that's coming out December 1st. Uh, I said in the description box below the video, sign up for the immune tea pre-sale list. This is gonna be my Flav City turmeric and ginger immune boosting tea powder. It's my first ever um, powder or product that's coming out and that's the pre-sale list for when it comes on sale. All my kitchen gear is right here on my Amazon shop page. I earn a 2% commission on that. I used to earn 8%, but then Jeff Bezos totally screwed us and brought it down to 2%. And then Thrive Market is right here. Thrive Market sponsors 
almost all of my uh, Fridays with Flav, and you get a $20 shopping credit when you sign up. Is there a reason you don't use broccoli much? Broccoli? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like we use it a, a fair amount. Hey, Rose. Hey. Hi, sweetie. Wow, we just got a super chat from Sherry Kennedy, four ninety nine. Sherry, that's, well, my, that sounds like my dream house. You're welcome to come over as long as you help with the dishes, Sherry Bear. How many recipes are in the new cookbook? Fifty four. Plus fifty four. Yeah, fifty four plus ish recipes. There's about ten sweet recipes from Desi, and every recipe is so easy, anyone can do it, and they all have about four fresh ish ingredients, and then one store bought Bobby approved product. That's a hack, it's a time saver, it's a flavor bomb that allows you to make really, really easy meals, like a simmer sauce, like a Bobby approved uh, granola, stuff like that. Tons of shopping. How are my batteries doing? I can't uh, see you it. You got full. Okay, good. All right, so check out what's going on here, Radio. Now it's Head City, Arizona. I've driven through there, Arizona Adventures. Can you recommend any healthy ice cream to enjoy? Well, I think Bobby can. Oh man, I think the, uh, the gas ran out, Art. Oh, that's embarrassing. So I have to go to the... Uh, you got an extra can, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's in the garage, though. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. Uh, ice cream, yeah, healthy ice cream. Um, first of all, search Flav City Ice Cream on YouTube, but um, the healthiest ones would be the So Delicious, No Sugar Added Ones, uh, Keto Pint, Enlightened, Aldi Keto or Sunday Shop Low Fat, High Protein Ice Cream. The ones that don't use sugar and instead use monk fruit and erythritol. Okay, time out on the field. I got to go get a tank in the... Uh, in the uh, garage. I'm guessing the signal won't work down there, right? You're guessing right. Yeah. Well, what? might be LTE. Oh, look, now I got locked out here. Hello. The LTE probably worked, but... Ah, it's not worth it. I'll be back in a second. Okay. I got to grab the... Uh... Uh, yeah, uh, Mark says garage counts. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tara. I got to go grab okay. the keys. Well, then we'll take this chat over here. Hey, Rose. Too much bad luck going on. The good thing is he's got a, a second propane. can of propane. I gotta so get that can in the that will help. It's your mac and cheese recipe in the new cookbook. Well, I think there is a five ingredient version of that. Skip, I'm stoked for baseball. It'd be a weird summer if we didn't have any baseball. Okay, BRB. Only a 60 game season, but you know, we'll take that. <laughs> Apparently, uh, new rules, locked door equals times two. <laughs> I like that a lot. You're not playing along, so it doesn't affect you. All right, let's see what other comments we got here. Garage counts as a double. Three drinks, wow. You guys are really penalizing people who are playing along here. Uh, can't wait for the new cookbook. I can't wait either, it's gonna be good. Like, let me tell you, it's gonna be good. Really excited about it. Ooh, go White Sox, it's Anastasia. It's Anastasia. Wait, sorry. Okay. There we go, Lardy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Man. It's a bummer because we're losing the heat in the grill, you know? It's a bummer, dude. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. We had all that nice grill heat going. Let's turn this guy off. This to see in the next house also, add this to your spreadsheet, the gas grill will not have a propane tank. It'll be hardwired into the gas line. I hate having to go to Home Depot or whatnot. And getting these stupid tanks they're so darn annoying sheila um i'm from the chicago area natively uh tyler was a work transfer i was there for a temporary amount of time a few years five years but uh this has always been home so that's okay. how i made the journey there we go i can hear the gas coming out but a great experience in texas loved it in the armpit of hell right the weather, the weather felt like that in the summer. Oh, oh. That humidity is brutal. And the heat. My gosh, the heat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Bobby, uh, I believe growing up, your uh, Weber was hooked up to the uh, natural gas, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Those were the good old days. When times were simpler. Woo. Just worked up a... Nope. <sighs> Shy town, Rebecca. Shy town. Oh, my hands are greasy. I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, oh, there he goes. Whew. Wow. Sweat here right so now, who's maybe. actually playing along? I know some people say, like, digital drinks, but are some people actually uh, actually playing along? Let us know. Sarah, I don't, I don't drink much at all. Texas heat is a whole new experience. That's actually, uh, 
it's actually toughened me to the heat. Like I don't, I mean, I'll still say the weather's hot, but my opinion of hot weather has changed since living in Texas. Hey, Rose. They're waving right back, Rose. Viviana's drinking Fresca, an entire can every time he leaves. Wow. Anybody drinking Fanta? Wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna? Wanna? Fanta? Okay. Whoop. Walking backwards can be uh, hazardous to your health, especially oh. when you trip on a table. I was wants to go on the grill, huh? Yeah, Denny M, don't drink Excuse at me, work. Got open Belinda's it. drinking wine, okay. Florida. Yeah, Florida's got the heat, got the humidity. Fort Worth, very hot. Anywhere in Texas, pretty much. Well, okay. I'll up with the panhandle, though. Yeah. It's summer like up there. I know the winter can be pretty cold. I okay, never really yeah. went there. Never went there, I should say. If you missed it earlier, these are the uh, tortillas we're going to use. Never used them yet, but they're the grain free paleo tortillas from Siete, so they have no uh, gluten or wheat. It's cassava flour. We do have to warm it, though, on the grill. So uh, not now, because I don't want them to dry out. We'll just grill it for a few seconds aside. But I think just for time purposes, after those avocados get a little bit of color, we'll bring them inside and make a quick uh, guacamole. That way, when the chicken's done, we can chop it up, do the uh, chipotle line. Have you seen that stand-up with uh, Sebastian Maniscalco, where he's doing the, chip, here. the joke about chipotle, and he's like, these people don't even communicate with the workers. They're just like... Chicken, beans, lettuce, guac. It's so funny. He's probably it's what. It's two ninety nine extra. Is that yeah, okay? That's right. Do you want guacamole? It's two ninety nine extra. <laughs> I was actually referring to the Panhandle in Texas. I haven't been to the Panhandle in Florida either. Uh, yeah, Rose Capital of the World, Arlene. I never got to Canton Trade Days. First Tuesdays. First Tuesday, right? And the first Monday. Who are right, you? Your habaneros here. I never. Get I never nice got color over, on over there. Down. This is a habanero just for art. First Monday, sorry. Garlic. I think my garlic actually... If I'd actually gone, I would have known. My garlic is known. good. I'm going to take my garlic off the heat. Sebastian's very funny. Sebastian's actually originally from uh, Arlington Heights, That's Illinois. That's right, Chicago land. Foxy Loxy 499, watching with my seven-year-old daughter. Can you say hi, Melania Lawfer? Melania, Thank you. Much I'm love. so happy you're watching with your mom. I hope you make this recipe pretty soon and tag me on Instagram story with your mommy when you do. That'll be exciting. So let's see what's going on with our avocados. See, look, avocado's getting a little char in there. Oh, that, oh, no. oh, I had a bad feeling of that. Is that habanero seeded? Oh, I'm putting this back on the grill, I'm not wasting it. Is that habanero seeded? No, it's whole. And so I had a feeling that was going to happen. Carsto, 1399 Canadian, because you love Sebastian Maniscalco. Ah, <laughs> nice. Thank you, Carsto. Nice. Do you like avocados that have been dropped on the floor? Five second rule, and that was just three seconds. This is what I was talking about. Come show on the grill art. There. See? This will impart a little bit of flavor. I don't think it's necessary. Hey, but it will impart a little bit of flavor. So that'd be nice. Okay. Chicken. I don't think it's ready to flip yet because... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, because we were uh, messing around with the heat. So I think what I want to do is take the avocados off. And we'll just make, I'll bring it out here. We'll make a little outdoor, a little al fresco guacamole. Which, which one of these is not like the other? Take a look at it. Beautiful. Picture where the avocado and the smash burger there. Brutal. Yeah. Even Rose, even Rose sees the difference exactly, there. Exactly, Rose. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back down. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, 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 we know what that means. Drink. You should drink. It's Friday night. Cheers, you guys. Hashtags Friday with Flav. Hashtag burritos with Bobby. Whatever you want to call it, we're hanging out. And we're having a good time. We're having a good time. We don't want to stop at all. Mwah! That was brutal. All right. Back to everybody's least favorite part of the show. Art kills time. It really gets annoying holding my arm as far go. as I can go to like get the selfie camera to, to look right. <laughs> yeah. oh. When it's on landscape mode, drink queen. Sebastian, the funny dude. Thank you, Nancy. Love you too. 
Art Kills Time is the new segment. It's not going to be trending, I'll tell you that much. Well, thank you, Jill. Do I like tofu? Uh, Chandra, I, I don't live for it. Let's put it that way. But I've had some good tofu. But then again, I've also heard you shouldn't eat too much tofu. Yeah, Liam, thank you. Uh, like I said, I got to like slick the hair back here. If I like don't put anything in there, I look kind of crazy. Is there anyone, is anyone here a marine biologist? The sea was angry that day, my friends. Like an old man trying to send back soup at a deli. Messy boy. You know where that comes from. Thank you for bringing up uh, Seinfeld. Mrs. BS. Uh, I've known Bobby for 20-some years, so. Uh, but I probably have since then. What up? Thank you, Kesha. Selfie stick needed. Selfie stick would be nice. Viviana, uh, you're going to send me a Yankees shirt. So, you'll be surprised to hear this. I actually have a Yankees hat. Um, the Yankees are my second favorite team. So, when the Cubs aren't in the World Series, which has happened most of my life, um, I usually root for the rank Yankees to be in there, and quite often they have been. Anybody else hear the Jeopardy tune? Okay, folks. <laughs> Art, do you like Bart? Like, from The Simpsons? Or Bay Area Rapid Transit? <laughs> Okay. I've ridden on Bart once when I was in San Fran. Perfectly paired. Take a seat, Pete. Okay. Oh, you're going to start losing fans here because I mentioned that the Yankees are my second favorite baseball team. Oh. Viviana made me do it. Because Art's like an all-American guy. Like, the Yankees are an all-American team. Oh, wow, and they're very warm. Oh, it's so wet here. Dang. Is it really? Oh. That stupid automatic sprinkler. Yes, a sprinkler. Come over a few feet. Oh, this is really hot. Wow. Good thing I have my thing here. Wow, it's really nice. It's literally, it's like, it's butter. It just scoops out. Look at this thing. Ruma, The Simpsons is just an amazing show. I'm shocked that they're still on the it's air making still new episodes. On the air. How it's incredible. Goofy is that? Totally goofy, you guys. Okay, so two grilled avocados are in. Shabbat shalom, Dina. Happy uh, Sabbath to everyone watching. A little bit of salt goes in. And then here's the kicker. So. You don't want to add lime juice directly to the guacamole because the avocado fruit is a very delicate flavor. Lime is very acidic. It's very strong, right? Fuerte. So what I learned four years ago in Mexico City is to pickle the limes in lime juice. That does two things. It lessens the raw flavor of the red onion, but it also adds a nice pickled flavor. So I'll add some red onions in a, in a skosh of pickling liquid, People and that's all you need. Grilled limes. Um, yeah, but I, I'm just pickling here, so it's not the most necessary thing. And then I'll just mash it up. You can add whatever you want to your guacamole. It don't matter. Just follow the guidelines of pickling your red onions, seasoning properly, and that's it. Wow, look at this, Art. It's actually steaming. You ever had steaming guacamole before? I have not, Bobby. I didn't know there was such a thing. I know. You can charge an extra four bucks for this. Rebecca Robb eats avocados with Meyer lemon straight on them with salt, and it's yummy. Ooh, Meyer lemons. I heard that's uh, really good from someone. A friend told you to try it out. Yeah. It, that you probably like it. I read an article a long time ago from, uh, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Yeah. What's the one from the Latino girl from the Desperate Housewives? Uh, There's also a like an athlete with the Ava same Longoria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, She used Meyer lemons. I'm like, I'll try it. It was really good. So let's see what's going on here. Cilantro. I put it. I put it in the bottom of the bowl. It was there already. A little we'll more take, salt. We'll take your word for it. It was there. Trust me. Did you hear me chopping inside? Liam O'Neill prefers a strong lime flavor. Yeah, some people do, some don't. When it comes to I the heard about that. I mean, there's a Dave Matthews song about that. Some so people. I like was singing that this morning, actually. Some <laughs> people do. All right, that's done. Be... That is delicious. Okay. Art puts milk on cheese balls for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Come Dude. over here, Artie. Now you got me thinking about a new cereal. Come over here. We still have our beautiful... Barry Obama says it tastes like the floor. <laughs> That's why it's so good. It's not Genesis Qua. All right, so the... Genesis what? <laughs> it's those nice grilled peppers here. Let's see what's going on with the... Uh... Maggie B, I might have to have an Instagram story like that. So, all right, check it out. Look at the grilled jalapenos here. They look lovely. Let me, uh... Yeah, I'll, stay. No, I'll stay here. Okay. Grilled jalapenos. Look lovely, like a frightened turtle. All the vegetables are done. 
Now I'm going to flip the chicken here. So even though the heat went out, they still have a pretty decent crust on there, no? Ooh, Brad Parham. Ooh, I bet that habanero would be fantastic in the guac. You know what? I think I might do that, Brad. Hoo, 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 I was actually thinking about doing the jalapeno in there because, well, you know what? Everyone's going to have it. Not everyone loves spice. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Let's do, do this. Do it. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, tomatoes on the grill oh, for the salsa. Oh, 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 you did that intentionally because no. you wanted people to have to participate in your game. Wicked game. All right, back to this segment. Cue that Jeopardy music right now. You know what? Let's go inside. Forget about it. I don't have time to grill them. What? We're using raw tomatoes. You got time to grill. No. I go mean, back in. That no, counts. No, the boss lady says no. Oh. <laughs> exactly. We're done? No, no, no. We're okay. going to come back okay. outside. Okay. But you come in for a second. Oh, really? We'll make the salsa really quick. While the chicken finishes cooking. Because to, to grill the tomatoes, it would take another eight minutes. We don't have time for that. I forgot to put the tomatoes on the grill. No, you're the boss lady. Is the chicken cooked though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chicken's almost done. Oh, okay. Tomato just kind of fresh, I don't care. <laughs> I, I would have done it, but the boss lady, D. Slav, she's getting a little, a little impatient. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our beautiful, fresh, I don't think most people make with heirloom tomatoes. Check these out. All right, these are gorgeous. I got them. Brad accounts for five. If I go in following him, that counts for five. <laughs> so I'll take uh, yeah, well, a few tomatoes. It would have been nice to get a little char on here, but let's imagine. Use your, use your imagination, right? Okay. So tomatoes go in. Someone told me that the uh, yellow heirloom tomatoes have less acid, actually, which is kind of cool. Then, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take... What uh, if you only have tomacos? Could you use those instead? I suppose it'd be Homer Simpson approved if you yeah, would. Whoever, yeah, whoever just asked about the Simpsons earlier, you'll appreciate tomacos. So check it out. All right, I'm just to reduce the heat a little bit, just cutting out the membrane and the seeds. Insane in the membrane? Yeah, insane in the membrane. I'm going to take all those lovely, look at this, grilled red onions. What do you think of air onions. fryers? Um, it's a unitask here. That's not worth it. We'll throw a little bit of red pepper and... I'll save that for art. That's, and then we got the beautiful grilled garlic here. We'll take that. This is like a squeezing a pimple. I love this, right? It's like, oh, yes. This is my version of like a Rick Bayless double roasted, double roasted tomato salsa that's unroasted 100%. <laughs> double roasted divided by two. <laughs> that's right. There you go. There you go. We'll put a nice. We'll confuse people with math or we'll test their math skills. We'll put a nice. Drizzle. What does that mean? It's just roasted. Of extra virgin olive oil in there. We'll put a nice... No, it's single roasted because we roasted the vegetables. Oh, my salt's outside, so we'll use That's this salt. just roasted. Okay, this is the Celtic gray salt. Look at this texture art. Kind that beautiful salt. This is chunky, beautiful Celtic gray salt. Really, really lovely Where stuff. do you get the olive oil bottles, Madeline asks? Uh, those are Rachel Ray, and they're on my Amazon shop page. So if you look below the video, below my Thrive uh, discount code, I have my Amazon shop page. A little bit of salt and pepper, and then a little bit of lime juice. Lots too. of flavor there, Bobby. That's the way we do it. Flav that's, City, homie. That's Flav Country. But imagine if the tomatoes were a little roasty and charred, it'd be even better. You ever tried black salt? Um, yes, I have it right here. I have all kinds of salt. You ever this tried is, black garlic? Uh, yes, I've tried that too. This is, look, Fossil River black salt here. We can is that it. like salt from uh, where that Exxon Valdez oil disaster it happened? Is. It's, it's pure Exxon Valdez goodness there. We'll use that to garnish later on. It's just all about the subtle nuance of the flavor, but it's another raw, unrefined, unprocessed salt. That's so good. Okay, now we'll just blend this up. Sea salt from the Exxon Valdez. That's rare these days because that happened so many years ago. Here we go. <laughs> Berlin says, try black salt plus lemon on watermelon. Say again? Black salt plus lemon on watermelon. Well, just on Instagram stories, we did unrefined salt, chili powder, and lime juice. And I loved it. Ooh. Foxy Loxy wants you to salt like Salt Bay. <laughs> we did that the other week. Do it again. The color of this is actually... Uh, Vicky, that is a Thermomix TM6. Wow. It's a mixer. It's a cooker. It does, a, it oh does it all. Oh, my God. It's a little loose, but 
But oh my god, it's delicious. Look at this, you guys. Uh, Debbie Damiano <gasps> Bilarakis, $10. Super chat. Yes. Bobby, will you do a chicken taco salad keto live one day? Ooh, it's not good. Look at the color of this. Oh my god. This is almost like a gazpacho. It's a little loose. But wow, the flavor of that is bazonkers. Wonderful accomplishment here by Genesis Martinez. Art, ever since I watched your channel, you've helped me lose 10 pounds, and I've been watching you since June 2020. Wow. Wow, way to go. 10 pounds already? Yeah. That's huge, bro. Rachel Murray, $15. Hi, Rachie. family. Finally there able she is. to join in. Happy Friday. Cheers. Rachel, you're working hard on a Friday night at the queue, huh? Dang, girl. Working I'm for making, the weekend. Look at me. I'm making a mess. Okay, that guys, honestly, that, that tastes like a gazpacho. I wish it were a little thicker. Fire it up! Look at that. Fire it up. Cook it down, you mean? Fire the gazpacho. <laughs> Mars, if I, cooked, if I cooked it down, would it reduce? Do you think? Mars V, five dollars. Is it safe to assume that you've been offered a show on Food Network? No, it's not safe to assume because think about all the brands. <laughs> think about all the brands that I trash. Those are all the sponsors of Food Network, so I don't think they would give me one. I'd like to have one like on. Uh, Netflix or Amazon where I don't have to like deal with any of those out. sponsors and I can say whatever I want. Okay, let me grab that chicken off the grill and then we can finally build some, some burritos. BRB. I th Mrs. BS, uh, I've got a YouTube channel. I typically just put uh, concert clips on there. So I'm guessing that her weight well, loss occurred by watching this like, channel. Not, uh, unless she was just like bring, uh, watching my... Bring a, is there a sheet, bring a sheet tray that has the uh, peppers on there? There's no cooking advice on my channel at the moment, so I guess you could lose weight if you watch my channel and didn't cook anything. We gotta warm the. Uh, she got it from we gotta warm them tortillas. And the chicken looks lovely, by the way. Absolutely lovely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brad Parm says, forget the sheet tray. He needs to come in. I need a drink. <laughs> Folks, be honest. Is this joke getting old? Where do you like? It's not even a joke. It's real. Look at the chicken art. Chicken looks mon -y. They have really good chicken thighs at Chipotle, but they ain't organic like this. So that's where they get. I'm going to put this right here. And then when they come off like this, Art, I like to just give them a shtickle of avocado oil just to stay juicy, Lucy. <coughs> then we'll take a burrito. Taco. Burrito. What's that in your Speedo? Oh. Okay, so we'll put these down. That's probably going to end up on an Instagram story. <laughs> yeah, Viviana's all over that. Okay, we'll take four of those. You got to heat them a little bit. See what happens when they're dry? They get a little uh, brittle. A little tough. The brittle brothers. Mm. There's good. Okay. Bobby, your floor plan is like mine, Wrightwood and Clark. Yeah, we're pretty close. Probably very similar. Absolutely. Bobby, you should get on HGTV's House Hunters for your house search. I, I was just thinking about that. Wouldn't it be fun to get on HGTV? It's like, Bobby Parrish of Flav City on YouTube is looking for the ultimate dream home, but it has to have a chef's kitchen, complete with two dishwashers, a double oven, two fridges and two freezers, and about three to four bedrooms with a pool, an outdoor kitchen. <laughs> is it possible within his budget? We'll find out. Look at this art. In the light right now? Oh! That's beautiful. Bobby, is a hypothetical situation. Say you had a comment from somebody named Blanca Benavides who says, what kind of tortillas are you using? What would you answer? Mmm, que rico. Um, este tortillas de cassava del siete sin farina. Hypothetically, you had the bag so you could actually show it. Oh, hypothetically. Yes, I can say this too. It's the Siete. It's the new burritos. Let's see if they're good. So far, so... Oh, I turned the... No, the heat's still on, isn't it? Yeah, it's still on. They feel a little uh, stiff to me. Uh, Petya, I don't... Uh, I don't think I have a fancy... Uh, name for my channel. If you just search Arthur Almacy on the YouTube site, probably will pull it up. I don't think I have a YouTube.com slash Arthur Almacy. I don't think it works that way. I think you, you gotta do something. That. I could fix it, but I haven't. The chicken, you guys, is gangbusters. 
perfectly juicy, thanks to using chicken thighs, but that spice rub of the ancho chili, the chili powder, the cumin, the coriander, the smoked paprika, the cayenne pepper. What if, what if Barry Obama said that you should paint them with a little ghee? Yeah, that would be great. It's all the way inside. I don't want to go in again because I don't want to get you hammered, Barry. Right? Jill likes my Spanglish. I wish Siete would make a keto burrito. Well, they don't make keto anything. There is a really great, and it's hard to find now. I hope they didn't stop making it. Keto almond flour tortilla from Almond with Love, I believe is the company. It's almost like a fresh almond flour tortilla. That's amazing. They sent me a few before Corona. Then they said they had production issues. And then I tried to search for them online. Can anyone go on Google right now and find from Almond with Love? It's like a tortilla bag. I believe the logo is kind of green with an almond. I couldn't find them at all. It was really weird. Gang to the bust to the earth. Uh, is that Viviana? Yeah. She loves that. Viviana knows all my, all my slang. Put a little oil on that, Mary Caruso says. Okay, here, I'll do this. How about this, Mary? So a little oil on that. Good. I like the way you think while they're hot and they're vulnerable, right? We'll put a little oil on there. Yeah, Randy, I, I, I just, I don't really do much with my channel. It's just when I, if I'm at a concert and I film something, I throw clips up there. But I, should, like, I should do more on that. Art almost got banned from YouTube for like recording some concert and putting it on there. Yeah. Like a little clip of it too. It's ridiculous. They're like, Art's a pirate. Art Copyright Art. violation. Yeah, I had off. strike two and I was about to have strike three, but I took the video <laughs> down before they could do it. Okay, all right, let's go in. Can you grab the uh, iPad? I can and I will. Thank you. Hey, Rose. Almond with Love's tortillas are sold out online. Oh, interesting. Okay. Jill Chopsky, $5. Cheers to Seco Wine Club and Thrive Market. That's right. Cheers to you, Rose, honey. Hi, Rose. There you go. You coming this way, Rose? Okay, come over here, Rose, honey. She's in the bedroom. Oh, your bedroom. Hey, Desi, Rose is in our bedroom. Hey, Desi. Rose is in our bedroom. You might want to check her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rosie. Okay, let's build. Uh, yeah, Brad, these are from Whole Foods. Oh, she's here. She's back. Whole Foods Market. She's back. Guess Whole Foods Market. Back. Banana. Back again. Yeah, yeah, I'm building a burrito right now, sister. I'm building you a baby burrito, Rose. So check this out, you guys. We'll take this. I've never built a burrito before, so hopefully it works out well. We'll take some of the, come on in here, some of the cilantro and lime, cauliflower rice. You ever see that burrito artist at Chipotle? They overstuff them and they always, always break. It's the weirdest thing. We'll take a little bit of this chicken. Delicious. Armchair Guru says. Look at that beautiful chicken, you guys. Oh, they ain't got that at chip Are there any updates on the Whole Foods Market Flav City thingy? Uh, what would that be? Brad Parham's asking about some collaboration. Oh, the uh, master class? Yeah, I'm not sure when that's going to go live. I'll let you know, Bradley. Don't worry. Jackie, happy Friday to you, too. Thank you. All right, you. so look at that. We put the chicken in there. We could probably get a little more The chicken. fun part is folding it. Good luck. Yeah, no, you're right. I think it's going to be harder because it's a paleo tortilla. We don't have that gluten in there. But I guarantee I can do a better job than Chipolati. So chicken mine. goes there. I will take a little bit. Uh, oh, I left the guacamole outside. Look at it. That means you're going to have to go out and come back in. <laughs> BRB. Arturo, like a, a lot Hopefully of chicken. Hopefully the neighborhood is cat correct. is eating my guacamole. That is correct, right? Maggie B. I haven't. Hello from nice. Cleveland, Ohio. Show me the Welcome, chair. Cleveland. Cleveland rocks, oh, no. rumor has it. Is it hot in there? No. Um... Well, the kitchen, if you're cooking, you get a little sweaty, but it's a beautiful day in Chicago. It's not too warm. It's really nice outside, actually. Like, really, really nice. Show me let's. Killing time here. Oh, Bobby's back. And I left my wine outside, too. That was epic fail city. Rachel Murray, $15. It's, it's Redonka Donk at the Q to date. Worked 131 oh hours of OT for this month trying to catch up on the shots. Rachie, dang, oh, dang girl. You, you are working like a Snoop Doggy one. dog, girl. Thank one. you for the super chat, Rach. Rachel working in San Quentin prison. Okay. The Q. Check it out, Art. Put the, oh, it's still warm. This beautiful guacamole steaming, down steaming there. Steaming guacamole. Yeah, it's steaming hot guacamole. The grilled guacamole. 
It has a very interesting flavor. Waka waka. Uh, what else do I put in there? Oh, the uh, habanero. Yeah, the uh, look at this. We got a beautiful lime crema here. Now, did he put any habanero in the guac or not? No, no, no. That's okay. going to be garnished just for you, Art. Oh, just for me. It's not going to be for everyone. Look at this. Look at that beautiful dairy-free roasted poblano and lime crema. He forgot the onions in the guacamole. Uh, no, I, I didn't. I put them in there. Don't we all see? No, I'm just reading what people write, man. We put a little bit of fajita toppings. Bomb.com. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I could actually fold it. So that's it. I Shakira. Think it's, did wait. I just quote Shakira? Brad's making it sound like I did. Oh, let's see if you do that. Pull it back. Ooh. Oh, it's pretty. Oh. It's pretty oh. full. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oy vey, Mary. Oh. I don't know if I can do it. <clears throat> oh, this has disaster written all over it. <clears throat> this is disaster city. Oh, man, you overstuffed it. I overstuffed it big time. This one's called a fork and knife burrito. Big time. Oh, my gosh. Overstuff it. Oh, oh, oh my dear. God. Oh, dear. All hope is lost. Oh, that's, oh my God. But that's I fine got, for art. I got, I'm redoing it. I want redemption. I put too much. I got a little too, too much. I did. They, gr <clears throat> they grilled outside. What did I do that was uh, Shakira? I don't know. All right, so we're going to do less. I want to know. <laughs> D Brown, it smells amazing. Thank you, Smell of Vision. You got to watch where you go. You got to Let's do a little bit less this time. <clears throat> that way it'll be more affordable also. It won't be the $20 burrito. Tyler, $2.99, I'm back. What up? Thank I didn't you, know Tyler. Way, Tyler. We'll put it here. If they had this kind of food at Chipotle, completely paleo and grain free like that, it'd be amazing. Uh, a little bit of this crema. Okay. And then a little bit of the grilled pepper. <laughs> Carved of Stone Eleven, same outcome on this, watch. No, 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 this one, I feel better about it. I feel better about it. Okay, there we go. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Arlene, my last name is Almasi. Okay, there we go. Almasi, so I we think go. it would be in Hungary. To be honest, these wrappers are a little fragile. Fragile. Stangman says still a little full. Oh, come on. Anything less than that would be like criminal, right? Hold on. Now I'm thinking oh. criminal by Fiona Apple. Hold on. Dude. A little better, a little better, right? Hold on. Oh, that's that's appropriate. Come on. That's appropriate. If Please. you if you were buying from Chipotle, would you be <laughs> complaining? <laughs> you shut your mouth, Art. Now I'm gonna load it up with salsa. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love that. Okay? Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Sabor. Nope. Off the chart. That really good. Everything is seasoned properly. Mm. It's messy as can be. Mm. To be honest, mm -hmm. it's partly me being a gringo, but mm -hmm. these tortillas are very tough to rock. Wow. Wow. So good, man. Huh? Just a Mm-hmm. Mm. That cauliflower rice. Mm, nailed it, man. Mm. Wow. Bravo. Mm. It really is like flavor everywhere. Wow, wow. I wish you were more like I can't wait. a real burrito. I can't wait. But I want a whole one. I, I'm going to give you a whole one. I'm going to want more. All right, try that second half. I want some uh, habanero. Mm. You can mince up your own habanero. What? I want DIY. I got to wow. wash my hands. So good, man. Isn't that delicious? My God. The salsa I thought is fantastic. I thought it when you said something, but it's better than I expected. Thank you. The salsa is fantastic. Look at the texture of the salsa. It's more like a gazpacho. Salsa, like a gazpacho, I can just drink it. Yeah, you can drink that. It's so tasty. Mm -hmm. I probably pureed it a bit too much, that's why. Girls can eat all of that. Of course you can. Wow. This baby burrito, Rose. Rice, chicken. Yeah. Hey, Rose. Are you going to have a baby burrito? Do you want a baby burrito, Rose, on anybody? Huh? <laughs> Eat this one. Well, oh, I got to put some habanero Baby burrito? Uh, roasted habanero. Oh. Yeah, Art's going to take a little abi. I bet it's not that spicy. Rose, let's sit down so we can have some food. Uh, we use, Zach, the frozen cauliflower rice from Costco. It's the best deal ever. But you don't always want frozen. And if you use frozen, you got to wring out the water. Very important. 
No, I don't. <laughs> Raws want some. Look at her. So what am I supposed to do? Put some of this on there? I, I would yeah, dust a little more of that uh, salsa. salsa. Yeah. Because it's fun to say salsa. salsa. Rose, you can't have the habanero. It's going to be a little too hot. But I got chicken for you, Rose. Are you hungry, Rose? For dinner, are you hungry? She's yeah. very hungry. Yeah, mm -hmm. Autumn, the uh, Greek one, the Kalamata one's good. Oh, are <clears throat> pretty spicy. <laughs> are they spicy? Whoa, mama. Viviana, uh, Michelob Ultra Gold is the Bobby approved beer because it's organic grains. Yeah, I gotta wash my hands after the habanero. Yeah, don't go to the bathroom. It's good. Flavor? You bought up, uh, complicado. Complicado. Muy, muy, muy perfil. <laughs> um, we've had habaneros on the show once before. Yeah. Those were not spicy. Agreed. I'm not saying these are too spicy, but these have one up them, that's for sure. And that was the grilled one. I still have the fresh one right here. Yeah. Art is living his best burrito life. <laughs> yeah, who said that? Ah, oh, Viviana. Hilarious. I predicted, I predicted that one. <laughs> hey, Rose, are you hungry for dinner? Yeah? We'll get you, girl. We get you. Really, really good stuff, you guys. Wow. Jackie Hedham Spiegel with a $100 super oh my chat. gosh. Cheers to a delicious Flair City family Friday night chicken taco dinner. Enjoy your weekend. Uncle wow. Art, Jesse, Sweet Rose. Wow. Jackie, Thank you, guys. muchas gracias. Major love coming your way. Major besos. Thank you so much. You okay? <laughs> Rose just smack herself in the face. You okay? <laughs> she just really wants a bed. This thing is like, serve it to me. Ooh, bro. cauliflower rice with mashed avocado rose. Amazing. Oh, yeah, thank you, Amber. She's Amber's husband is going to ship off and serve. Thank you for serving. He's got the cookbook with him. Oh, love thank to you. Hear that. Love to hear that. Which, uh, which branch is he in? Which Let branch is he in, Amby? So, yes, that's it. Awesome. It's pretty tasty, isn't it, Art? Very good. I mean, it's messy. It's not the easiest to fold these paleo. And for me, a burrito should be big. It's just tough to stuff it big. It's tough stuff, you know? All right. Delicious. Yeah. So that's about it, you guys. Remember, support the sponsors of this channel like Thrive Market. You can get all the great stuff you normally buy at the grocery store for certainly cheaper on thrivemarket.com. And right below the video where Art is staring right now, I always have my promo code. And it's going to change on August 1st. It won't be as good. $20 shopping credit when you sign up for a year-long membership. You can cancel your membership if you don't like it. You get your $55 back, but you keep the $20 shopping credit. It's completely risk-free. I have amazing stuff. Um, my Amazon shop page is down there with my cookbook and all the great uh, kitchen gear I use. And if you want to sign up for the uh, pre-sale list for our immune system boosting tea powder, my first ever product coming to market, you're going to want to be on there because it's going to go fast and quantities will be very limited. So that's it, Rose. Are you ready for dinner, Rose? Yeah, I think we're all ready. Uh, great time hanging out. Art and I crush him. Very fun making burritos. Yeah, they were sloppy, but that was good stuff, right? Delicious. Flavor. And I'm extra sloppy. Right, I know you boys like I'm extra sloppy. All right. uh, but that's how we roll. So Army. amazing time. Army, thank awesome. you. Thank Love you. To hear that. Guys, have a great time. Thank you for the super chats. Uh, once again, big thank you to... Uh, that was uh, Randy. Randy, for the $400 super chat, please email me, Bobby at flavecity.com, so we can send you a couple signed cookbooks. Uh, I'll throw a microplaner in there for you. It'll be uh, well worth it. Hopefully, uh, awesome time hanging out. That habanero is actually burning the outside of my life. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Opening day. We don't know the score right now, but go Cubs, go. Hopefully, it can be 2020 World Series champs. About 15 more minutes. Uh, tomorrow's video is... Oh, hasn't started yet? No. Oh, even better. Six Perfect. Time. It's got Hulu t uh, TV ready to go. Tomorrow's video, Costco shop along with my dad, Johnny. Sunday, a sugar replacement video. Lots more stuff coming at you. Awesome time hanging out. We love these live streams. Uh, Art and I, Rose and Desi, and everyone will see you soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag, keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. And you don't want to see our faces to end the stream. You want to see... Sweet Rose Honey Bunny. Right? Rose, can we say goodbye to everyone? Bye. Bye. Can we wave goodbye, Rose? Goodbye. Feed me. Yeah, she, she cares Feed about the me. food right now. Right, Rose? Are you hungry? She huh? wants a chicken. Oh, you want chicken. Okay. We'll get you, girlfriend. We'll get you. All right, guys. Cheerio. Major love. Say goodbye, Rose. Bye. She won't wave to you guys today. Man, she's hungry.